Hey guys, Charles Walker here. So, in this video, I wanted to go over something. It's been covered before in the DD community, but it was done by Zeba Shoot a few years ago, and he did a great video on it, by the way. You should check it out. It's real funny, and he's just a great creator in general. But ever since then, there's been some updates to this game and the mechanics and just more books in general that give more options for this. So, I wanted to do an entire what if you made the luckiest character ever. And the origin behind this character is me and a good buddy of mine. He runs a D&D game that I play in. And I play my favorite character ever. And that is a half orc barbarian. And he is the best boy. I love him. And I don't want anything bad to happen to him. And I, he was about to die. And I jokingly said to my DM, if he killed him, I would make the most frustrating character ever next. And... Uh, he kind of laughed it off, and then later he's like, hey, what do you mean by that? And I drew up this character and showed it to him, and he said, if I made this, he would instantly kill it, because he hated it so much. <laughs> so, let's go over what that is. And to clarify, he hates the luck feat, so this thing is everything he can't stand, because it's even worse than that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first, obviously... All of luck in D&D, &D, it really depends on the person, the dice you roll, etc, etc. Everyone has their own theories on it. I mean, Laura Bailey's crazy with her dice as she throws half of them away and has still a million more of them. But, with this one, it is more based around, even if you roll low, you should have some options on what you can do. So, with this, first, starting with Halfling, I went Stout Halfling in particular... And what this does for you, it gives you one uh, racial ability entirely that's amazing. That's ability to reroll one, so you can't naturally fail. It's insane. And at the least, even if you don't go by the fail rules, you can literally just, if you roll low, you have a chance of rolling higher. Because you roll again and you got to take the next roll. So the only way to roll a one as a halfling is roll two ones in a row. Which is insanely low, but I've still seen it happen. <laughs> And another reason, stout halflings, they have advantage on all saves against poison, uh, poison, so that's handy. And also why halflings are key for this, there is two other racial feats in Xanthar's Guide to Everything that are absolutely insane, and I love them. And one is Bountiful Luck. This one's less necessary, but still handy for your allies. You can actually make it to where an ally can reroll um, a one that's within 30 foot of you. But you can't use uh, your ability until the start of your next turn. So it can be a good way to save an ally. The next is Second Chance. Essentially, it gives you a whole luck of point that is only able to use when an ally is about to attack you. Not an ally, an enemy, of course. Or an ally, you never know. But when they're about to attack you, you can uh, literally make them roll disadvantage on the roll. And that lasts until you roll initiative again or take a short rest. So yeah, uh, that's as handy as it is. And now, this is where it gets even crazier. Obviously next, the luck feet, on top of them three feet. Um, you get three points of luck instantly, and those can be used on any roll or make one enemy reroll um, uh, an attack on you. It's all them, really handy. Luck's just an insanely good feat as it is. Now, this is where it gets even crazier. The class you want to pick is Divination Wizard. And the reason for it is they have an ability called Portent, where basically at the beginning of a day, at second level, they can roll two dice. You record them numbers, and any roll you ro roll throughout that day, you can replace that number with another die roll. So yeah, you get basically five points of lucky at that point, another one that is exclusively used to make an enemy reroll an attack on you. And you get another po uh, important die at level 14. So that's insane as it is. You are incredibly lucky there. And yeah, you think I'm done. I'm not. Finally, this is more tricky and it more leans toward the disadvantage side. And that is something I found which fits in perfectly with the leveling and is like Domain Cleric. The reason for it, their ability called Warding Flare, which is equal to your Wisdom modifier. When an enemy within 30 foot of you makes an attack on you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on that attack. So, uh, and make it even better, at level 6, um, you can uh, make an ally um, have that same effect. So yeah, basically, 
You can do an insane amount of tricks with uh, making people either re-rolling dice or you can uh, re-roll a lot of dice. So at the least, it's going to be very hard for you to roll bad. And that, I love, it is insane and can be very frustrating to DMs. And most DMs I play with cannot stand a lucky feat. Me, I'm okay with it because you are foregoing an entire ability score improvement to increase your um, get this feat that can do something for it. So yeah, I feel like it bounces out in that sense that you're sacrificing maxing out one of your stats or taking another great feat to take that. So I can kind of understand it. But finally, to add another bit to it. So this one is going to be another one you're going to have to run by your DM and really see what they think about this. And that is the background called Fate Touched. It is in a Tal'Dorei Adventure Guide, Matt Mercer's book, and... The way it's explained is it's not necessarily meant to be given to a player. It's uh, meant for a DM tool to give to either a player who may be a central point of story so far. It's really important for them to live right now or basically a um, NPC that's really important to the story or even a villain. So it's kind of a tool but can be utilized. It's interesting. It describes it in the book as supposed to be overlaid on top of a normal background, but Looking at it, I feel like it could be given as a background in itself because it doesn't give you anything except the ability to have one more luck die, and it stacks with your other luck die. And it doesn't give you any skill proficiencies, any equipment, it's just that. So I feel like that'd be a good story point that just basically your character was either incredibly lucky or some divine thing happened that made them be a mentor. They really had no life in it, and that was it. So either I'd say talk to your DM about it, ask if you can be a fate, uh, fate touch, or see if you can do that trade-off of, hey, I'm not going to get any skill proficiencies or equipment, but I will have one lucky point. Is that okay? Because I feel like that's a decent trade-off because really a base class is only going to get two skills aside from their background two skills, and that's with their class, and that is if you don't take a class that has a lot of skills. So them lack of skills, I feel like, would really be a good balance to that. So that'd be something to talk to your DM about. And finally, this I had to look through um, uh, other books a bit to find. The only other thing I think of close to add to this. And that was two boons that give you a D10 to roll on ability checks or saving throws. They're two different ones. So that's another thing you'd have to talk to your DM about. If you want to be the ultimate chosen one of fake touched and booned. So yeah, that's uh, you're going to have to be really good friends with your DM. Bring them a lot of snacks. That may help. At least you should bring your DM and players a snack. I mean, shoot, just be friendly to your players and your fellow adventurers. So now, the end result, if all of this pans out, and you being a wizard, they get a lot of ability score improvements, so this may work um, if you do it right. And that is, you should have seven luck points, including a port and die, and you have six potential disadvantage rolls if you max out your wisdom score. And you also have two D10s you can add to any ability, any one ability score um, a check, um, skill check, or one saving throw. So it will be very hard for your character to roll bad is the main point of all of this. So yeah, if you just want a character that can possibly survive everything, basically be Bilbo Baggins, which I feel like is why they made this, is all the impossible things that Sam, Bilbo, and Frodo survived through. Like, how did he survive Smog? I mean, I don't know how Bilbo made it. <laughs> I know he was going to make it, but I was still tense in that movie. So now, that's it. That's basically, if you want to make the luckiest character ever, this is what I came up with. Uh, you guys got any ideas for this? Uh, let me know. You want to see any more build videos like this? Let me know in the comments. And guys, thank you for all the support I've been getting lately. I think I'm finally set at 900. It's hard to tell because I still fluctuate every now and then between gaining and losing. And I've explained that in an Instagram video, but I've never officially explained why I think that's happening. And Looking at my analytics, I really have very few dislikes or very few negative comments. Uh, only really getting positive feedback, but I was still losing subscribers, but gaining them steadily. And I think what happened was when the entire JMAC raid happened, which I'm still thankful for him. Don't take this as me complaining at all. JMAC's still a great guy, and we still talk every now and then. I love the guy. And I think it was a lot of people that realized... 
uh, they're still subscribed to me and I'm not really making content or interested in so they unsubscribe because the meme was kind of over and that's fine I mean I'd rather have more active player um, fan base than an non active and I like y'all interacting with me so J Mac you had a lot of sweet fans and if you guys still hung around I appreciate it and I hope I make content you enjoy and I hope I may have got you into D&D or helped you if you are into D&D so thanks guys so that's about it remember to like comment subscribe and I hope you have a good day guys and I'll see you in the next video bye